Hi guys, welcome down to Max Royal Golf Club here in Turkey, Antalya. It's myself, Rick Shields, Peter Finch, hey. and we're going to play a series of four hole mini matches down here at the beautiful Max Royal Golf Club. I mean, this is just stunning. This was the home of the Circus Airline Open three years ago, and we've been here a couple of times but never got a chance to play the course. Never did we? actually played it, no, so I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Sun's out, we're in. Uh, we're in November officially now. Yeah. Um, um, so I'm um, looking forward to it. So we're going to play because we, we're a bit tight on time. We're not sure. I was, I was I was just I was just basking in the glory. Do you like the white pants? Of the yeah, uh, white pants, blue top combo. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> right. So par five, first hole, 522 meters. Slight dog leg to the like, it's kind of tee shot requires probably a little bit of a fade. Yeah, I think I think it's it is just. Uh, no. Just turn the shot face on. If it's a good one. We didn't have the back tees as well, like big boys. Yeah. So these are the tournament tees. So Brooks Kepka who won here when we were here, shot like I don't know, whatever under. Ooh, nice. It's not really curved much in there, it's just straight, slightly left, but the rough doesn't look overly punishing from here, it might be. It kind of, the tee shot forces you to tee it towards the left slightly, but then you're trying to cut it back. Otherwise you take a slightly tighter line over the trees. Yeah, looking forward to this. We've been here a couple of times and never got a chance to play it. I'm always a bit gutted that we didn't, so it's uh, nice to get out here. Guys have been incredibly welcoming. Which is the most delicious Montgomery sandwich sat on the terrace. Yeah, Montgomery inspired beef sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean actually, it kind of looks like you should go left. It feels like you yeah. you need to kind of be aiming down that left, but learn from mine and you can take it a bit tighter. Okay, so this is where we've hit from just over here. Fairway was absolutely gigantic mm. and we both just missed it. So Pete's just here up the right hand side miles away from any trouble so you could see how far you had a little bit more permission to go to the right and there's a couple of massive bunkers down that left hand side and i've just managed to I, my prediction is it's landed in it but then kind of spat it out the other side so all good uh how far have we got left in pete uh, 290 290 to the flag there can i see a driver in your hand yes, you can, okay that's a friend. driver yes you can wow well it sat down in the rough so i'm thinking driver just like bounce it up and out okay just, I mean, exactly what I think when I see a ball sat down in the rough. Driver it is with feet, 290 out, a couple of bunkers down there, but nothing much by the looks of things. Mm. Well, it looks relatively clear in there. I didn't think it would come out that low and left, but... It's a very, it's a very interesting, very interesting shot. It's friendly match play. Yeah, of course. It's all about friendly match play. Man. Right, Ricky boy. <laughs> I've changed my shoes. I realise I still have my kind of. I told, called my teaching golf shoes. I put some proper golf shoes on. Yes, cross yeah, hybrid Bobby, shoes. Bobby Dazzlers. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna, after your shot, I'm just hitting a four iron down into the fairway. Yeah, laying up. I know. I'll let you guys yawn below. <laughs> I'll be hanging around with those tall players. Far too long. Yeah, draw around. That should be good, I think. Mm -hmm. I presume it's going to be good. Bouncing? On the fairway. That's all right then. Thanks, draw. So Peter's found himself here on the left in the pine straw. He's just uh, kind of moved these pines around without moving his golf ball. Wow, the zoom on this camera. Wow, that's very good. So, he has this shot left in, which is... Uh, very interesting one, Pete. But one, but one and no one, a man of your calibre left, definitely be able to play. The flag is located there. On the positive, I have left myself my favourite yardage. 83? Uh, 100. 100. Well, just over 100, but I'm thinking with a tiny wedge, just keep it low. Pitch yeah, there's nothing overhanging, good. luckily, or nothing that's going to impede. 
something quite romantic about playing shots off pine straw. All right. Well, actually, we'll be getting close over this last holiday, but there's limits. Pete, don't forget, it's not a holiday. Okay. Right. <laughs> so we tell tell the, the, the women. The ladies. It's, it's work, right? So a little pitchy one out here. Kind of short of the green, like just right behind that tree. That came out so strange, that one. It's just there. Must have just caught the uh, pine straw before it, I think. Yeah, little chip from the front. We've got Rick back in the fairway. Yeah, mine had like a weird sound. It's coming for a good, good 20 yards short. Not, uh, not played a lot of golf out of pine straw, to be honest. Yeah, maybe put it on the agenda. So Rick's only going to have a small wedge in. Maybe about 80 yards. Strike sounds very good. I think that is over. I think that's over the back. Uh, I'm focusing on the flag. I was a little bit worried there. Strike sounded good. Rick's distance control with his wedges has been much better. But not this occasion. I think so. Okay, so we get down here. I think mine's just landed past and uh, ran on a bit annoying. Thought I played it quite nice. The Pete is just here at the front, probably about 30, 40 yards left in. This will be Pete's fourth shot. Yeah, nice touch. Kind of stopped very quick. Yeah, nice put, nice touch. Got out for par. I am through the green, annoyingly just. I can probably get putter on it to be fair, which is all right. <laughs> I'm hopefully going to work on my chipping a little bit today, but when it's for the match, putter is coming out. Yeah, I just landed mine. It's a little bit big. That was a shame because it was, looked like it was right down it as well. Hmm. Trying out a TP5X today, that stopped pretty nippily, that one. Nippily, is that the word? Quickly? It's fast anyway. Got a fair bit of grip on it. I want to chip this, but I also really don't. Putter? Putter. Yeah. Okay, we're a birdie. up onto the greens are going to move right not a bad starting line maybe a bit more pace would have held it you can take that one away gimme's no match match play no gimme's or um okay do you want to? um well i was willing to give it you but if you want to play that crazy game i think it's it's while the greens are this pure you got to remember we're probably going to play Three or four months of not pure green, so let's enjoy them. Right, okay. So Pete for the half. Great green this. Big two tiers. Right and left tiers. Not really good. Pete's using his uh, trusty ball marker as always. He gets so many sent through the post. So hey. many all the time, and that's what he uses, his mobile phone. You amazed how many of these I've lost. <laughs> all through the hole in my pocket. <laughs> A little bit from your right? Yeah, I'm just not sure how much. I'm just going to go right edge. The greens look lovely. Stay beautiful. Good half, sir. Thank you very much. I, I love, I just love putting on a green. Like six foot from the old. That was it. I what knew, I knew it was in, and it's just been, it actually feels a long time since we played on greens like that. Yesterday. Yeah. Second hole here, lovely looking little par three, over some waste area, bunkers right, it's great, it's really nice. What are you going in with? I'm just going to hit a nine, it's one five four yardage. There is... 
Well, there was some wind earlier today. It just feel like he's died here. It hardly feels like there's anything. I think it's just a nice one of these. Oh, just drifting slightly left, maybe. Down. Struggle. Yeah. Uh, I struggle to see it in the, uh, the, the light. I don't know if that's enough. Prove me wrong. Drag it all right. <clears throat> as good as I can hit it. I think I think there's a bit more breeze than what we're feeling. I'm almost trying to read it read it from the fountains. I can't even. Some massive fountains over there, and they don't even seem to be moving. Maybe, maybe I didn't get every bit of it. <laughs> yeah. I can't be wrong. <laughs> so. <laughs> Nine for Pete. That looks right on it. Good goal shot, sir. I bet your heart was beating for a bit then. Honestly, I'm, ever since I'm determined to get a hole in one, I know this sounds ridiculous, but my tee shots on par threes are so much better. You've been trying to try a bit more. Well, it doesn't matter. Like, whatever hole location, I am going for it. Don't matter. Good I'm shot, going. mate. So two chances for birdie. I'm probably half the distance that Rick is, but Rick's a good uh, 40, 50 feet away. So, put in... Right back up this green. It's going good for pace. Yeah, pretty good. Didn't really move much at all. No, it, didn't. I it was difficult one to read actually. It was, it was looking a bit multiple breaking. Multiple breaking. It was. It was a bit of a multi breaker. I didn't quite get it. Ran it a bit past. One of those ones where you're just thinking about right, get it up the hill. <laughs> It shouldn't be far off. So Pete, from the front side. Look at bird. Funky sounding birds. It was. Well, my favourite birds around here, the hoopoos. Oh, you do like a hoopoo. Yeah. You're partial to a good old hoopoo. Well, I think it's pretty straight, really. Yeah, I don't think there's much in this at all. Straight back up the hill. The bird eating to go one up in the match. That's it. Oh, wow. Such a big D cell on that. Not sure who's, who's, I think it might still be on you, mate. That's me, yeah. That was a uh, not quite thinking straight, but you know one of those? Yeah, your line and my speed would have been alright. Okay, so give you a bit of perspective for the putt coming up next, repeat. Still remain straight up the hill. What's an idiot? Oof. Didn't see that coming. What an idiot. Two terrible putts. How can I have two such terrible putts after that? Such a good putt on the first. Doesn't seem to make any sense golf sometimes. Oh. I'm going to take a deep breath. Realise what a beautiful day it is. Realise that bending clubs isn't the future. <laughs> and to go one up. Yeah, no mistake. Good two put. Good two puts. Damn. Good two put. <laughs> damn, oh damn. Third hole, and it looks like a well, a cheeky dog leg, as it was described. Round the corner, I think the tall tree there on its own, that's on the left-hand side of the fairway, and it goes left from there. So 
You need to miss that tree really, don't you? I think so. I think if you take a three wood straight at it, I think you should clear it. Um, I'm not sure how far it is to the bunks on the right, but... Try and drop one just to the right of that tree. Okay. It's curving left there. I heard foliage. On the plus side... I didn't think I was going to throw it that much. On the plus side... <laughs> I was like, you think you did that plus side? Well, I'd throw that really, really, really good. Um, I'm a bit good about it. On the plus side, I think it got over the big tree, i.e. this kind of uh, umbrella-looking yeah, type that. tree here. And I think it just hit the branches there, and it might have kicked through, because the green's not far after that point, I don't think. Um, Seen that I've played in no times. I can't fault your positivity. Yeah, I, honestly, I just felt like I struck that awesome. I looked up and I was like, ah, oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't curve like that, please, ball. I'm going to go over the corner, try and hit it straight, but if not, I'm going to fade it. Sound sensible? Yep. Thank you. That is a great golf shot. I'm not going to see it down, but that was an unbelievable strike. Oh, we did see it down. Yep. Yeah, perfect that, mate. Nope. Proper golf shot. That is a bit of anger in that, I think, as well. It's amazing how well I drive it after I put badly. Yeah. Some kind of signs behind that. Sure. I think so. <laughs> so Rick has hit the foliage here, dropped down the right side of it. I don't... I thought it was going to be okay. I thought that. I mean, you did say with a lot of confidence, just purely based on the fact you hit it well. <laughs> you got a backswing there, or...? Oh. Not quite, and there's a tree here which is obviously going to interfere. I'm actually going to have to run this up. I think, yeah, you're going to have to go in between, basically, that gap there. You've got to go left of the tree, You go left of it? Yeah. I don't think there's that much... I don't think there's that much slope. I think it actually just slopes up towards the green. So I think you're going to have to go firm and pretty straight at it. A bit of draw spin on it. Okay, strike yourself in, kids. I'm 100 yards away, I'm going to chip a nine. Okay. If it hits that tree, that'll be unlucky, would it? <laughs> think about it hitting the pin instead. Let me just describe some of the other features. Um, so we've got a bunker off to the right there. That aforementioned tree. And here's Ben Crane. Are we switched to nine? Eight. Eight, okay. It was, I was nine. It was nine. I've been lucky here. Is that going to sneak through? Has it come through? Go, go, go. Oh. oh. What? That seems to be going so well, then just grabbed. I do, it does look, I think because we're higher, I think there's quite a big slope up that green. That was unbelievably close. Good shot, mate. Good, good, good club choice, that. Thanks, mate. So Pete, after his exceptional drive, has found himself with just a little flick in. And as we get to the front of this green, Pete was dead right in the fact it's, it's very uphill as we go up here now. Pete cannot, probably see only half the flag, my ball's finished there. And it was motoring, but it's just snagged up in this uphill part of it. Pete back down in the valley for, a, honestly, a superb drive. I think he played that the right way. Driver over the corner. If he faded it, it would have been fine. Just didn't want to hit it left. So a little flick up here with gap wedge, uh, lob wedge, sorry. Caught it brilliantly. Oh, it's a bit big. Spin, spin. 
Yeah, just a bit big, mate. Bit tricky when you can't see the bottom of the pin a little bit. <laughs> Pete not happy with that shot. Not happy one bit. Right, so Luke's got another one two put for par or one very good put for birdie. I'm standing on top of a big slope in this green, didn't realise that if I went more straight at it I could have took it up and then down. <sighs> Couldn't see the bottom of my pin for a second but gotta be getting a lob wedge closer than that. Whoa. This ball looks like it should break right but it is not gonna break at that place. Rick's going for an up the slope and back down again. If you'd have hit that another 10 foot harder, you'd have been all right. Wow. 10 foot harder or 10 foot shorter. That was awful. <laughs> that was a bit, of, it was a bit aggressive. I think I had a bit of a brain freeze like you did on the, on the par three. Yeah. That was... Uh, I think that editing hangover may... Uh, yeah, we were up last night. We played, at, we played Turkish Airlines Open uh, program yesterday. So I don't know where, when these videos will be released. These might be released way later than... than uh, the date we're filming this on. We're filming this on the 1st of November. We're probably going to be, these are probably our Christmas specials, aren't they? <laughs> We've got quite a backlog of, day, of uh, content at the moment, which is great. So yeah, we were up editing till late last night. And I, and I actually mean that when I say we are up editing late last night. It's not a, it's not code, it's not code for we had a big night out. So Pete for birdie. Coming down off that slope. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure how much he was going to break initially. Yeah, I thought he gave that a bit too much respect, potentially. A bit too fur, maybe. Let's have a play match play. And don't forget, it's four hole challenge, so all to play for. If you can drop it, yeah. one up that challenge. Yeah, well, one up. So this for a par. Feels like we're making him almost a bit of a meal of what should be a relatively simple hole here. Yeah, if you play it, guys, iron off the tee. <laughs> Just lay up, give yourself a view of the green. So this is going to come down off the right slightly, maybe? Yeah, just slightly. Turn. Wow. Well, it did turn just at right angles. Wow. That was vicious. Oh, wow. It looked like he was thinking of moving in all the way. I think just pace took that out. I think it was just an inch left with that pace and it dropped. Or two foot slower on pace and it would have dropped. So to win the hole with a par, which kind of feels the right outcome almost in a weird way. Yeah, good putt. Good putt. Back to all square. One hole left to go in this four hole match. And the next hole looks like an absolute beaut. Oh, wow. Hello. <clears throat> is an absolute screamer it's a fourth hole par five and that is how you hit the tee shot like i actually didn't see it land with but that was an unbelievable tee shot you know what, it's probably similar to that's why you're giving it away just in case you're not seeing the uh, pro and vlogs that was similar to my my 350 drive strike wise but it's pitched into an upslope on the fairway so it's probably only gone about 3.30, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it's gone about 300. So, drive it. I don't think there's anything tricky about this. It is literally just straightforward. There's some trees on the left, but that shouldn't be bothering, uh, shouldn't be bothering Ricky. He's going to be carrying it right of load. 
Yeah, perfect. That looks super. Is that going to get a scoot? Get a scoot, get a scoot. That is the bounce you want. Actually, maybe it's not. That seemed to kick a long way left, actually, didn't it? There is water down there. We'll see. Lucky or unlucky, I'm not sure yet. Okay, I didn't realise there was water down there. Yeah, there is water down the left, all the way down the left. All right, well, I'll take it all back. Really tricky t shirt. That's probably going <laughs> to bail out right. Okay, so we get down here onto the fairway, and Pete has found himself sat on top of the baby elephant. Yeah. It seems to be buried under this fairway. You can't really make it out, but this is quite a big kind of mound. And my ball is dry, which is good news, and that looks alarmingly close to the water. Well, yours has been but I actually don't think it is that close. I do think I've got a stance. How far have you got? Uh, 225 for the pin. Okay. Uh, 200 to play the water, so. So this is the shot in hand. Yeah, Straight so down we're... there to the flag, which is located just there. Should move right to left. Should get a little bit more height off this lie as well. Are you going to hit? Uh, two iron. So aiming slightly for a high draw off this lie. Oh, wowza. No, no. Oh, wowza. Nah, it wasn't that good. The bit's there, we got a bit of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 200 on the nose. Water. Close, but look at that approach. Wow. Oh, it's straight down it as well. A little bit clean. Great shot. Great shot. It's called an eagle off. Somebody's close. I think. Oh. It might not be closer. It might just look it. <laughs> May have accidentally knocked the record button. You knocked. <laughs> Well, I have to say, mate, those are two pretty good shots there. Eh? I think Rick snuck it, has he? Yeah. So Rick snuck it just by a hair. But I think I probably looked the most stylish uh, when I hit it. Actually, no, you held your finish for a bit longer, I think. Look at that. Look at the fountains lining up and everything. Oh, wow. Right, eagle chances here. Man, have we ever halved the hole in Eagle? Uh, I don't think we've ever. I think that maybe. might. Well, it looks like we've got the perfect title for the video. The question is. I think mine pitch. I can't quite see my pitch mark. Might have actually just pitched just. On the fringe, I think. I think mine might have just pitched on the fringe, right? Man, oh man, oh man. I'm going to read mine as I'm filming yours. Eagle opportunities, two of them. Who can hold it with this amazing background? Just kind of this is the this is the hole we needed to spark our energy lighter. Pete's confident, he says. See if he can make it. Wow. Good E dog. Whew. Good eagle. I'm going to get it from this angle as well, I think. Can't not with, uh, with that view. So, to halve the hole and the match with an eagle come on there's there's part of me the competitive side that's like oh i would love to win it with that but more of the nice side of me is like i hope you miss it so what uh so what <laughs> right what'd you get it as just, right. just slightly right come on come on come on come on come on whole halved in eagles come on it's what we want
Break, break, break! Oh. Line look good. Just a bit firm. Man, that hurts. I'm not going to lie to you. It stings that a bit. That, oh, that stings. Wow. Good birdie. That stings my heart enormously. Man. Well, guys, thanks for watching. That was a uh, that was a real turn up for the books. And we will continue in the next part where Rick would have the chance to exact his revenge. Second time round. I think it might be a bit downhill from there. Oh, thanks for watching. Got on, got it, genuinely <laughs> gutted about that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Um, subscribe to both the channels. Thanks to Max Ralph for letting us come down here and film. We're going to join Pete on his um, on his channel now for another four-hole match. We're going to go stroke play next. Uh, yeah, we can go stroke play. It's a club here. Well, at least you get something from this hole anyway. Devoted. See you next time, guys.